more than 50,000 people from at least 140 countries ran through all five boroughs. Hello everyone, and thank you for joining us this morning. My name is Kyle Han Chan, and I am an eighth grader at IS 187 Krista McAuliffe School, and a participant of Rising New York Roadrunners. Rising New York Roadrunners is a fun fitness program that myself, my teammates at IS 187, and 250,000 other kids across the country get to enjoy for free. Through Rising New York Roadrunners, I get to have fun with my friends and teammates, learn about physical fitness, and participate in exciting events like today. Today, we will begin the painting of the TCS New York City M Marathon Blue Line, which will be painted from here in Central Park all the way through the Bronx, Queens, and Brooklyn to Staten Island to guide more than 52,000 runners here from the starting line. I'd like to now introduce you to some of today's attendees. Please wave when I call your name. Ellen Canfield, Executive Director of the Mayor's Office of Citywide Event Coordination and Management. Fred Dixon, President and CEO of NYC and Co. Bill and Eric Rudin of the Rudin Management Company and the Rudin Family Foundation. Ben Trounson from our title sponsor, TCS. Hi everyone, my name is Pia Ung and I'm an eighth grade Rising New York Roadrunners Youth Ambassador at Wagner Middle School. As Kyle mentioned, Rising New York Roadrunners is a free and fun program that teaches kids like us the importance of physical fitness. In 2019, New York Roadrunners is celebrating 20 years of offering programs to hundreds of thousands of kids across the country. And we are excited to be a part of today's event, which honors the city agency and community partners that help put on the world's largest marathon. Today, we are also joined by some of the greatest athletes in the world, the four defending champions of the TCS New York City Marathon, who will race to defend, defend their titles on Sunday. Please join me in welcoming Lalisa DeSisa of Ethiopia. Mary Katani of Kenya. Danielle Romanchuk of the USA. And Manuela Schar of Switzerland. And now we'd like to introduce the New York Roadrunners president and CEO, Michael Cavarasso. Hello everyone, good morning. Thank you for being here. I had to improvise a little bit, but that's what we do in these situations. So thanks for being inside today, we appreciate it. How about a big round of applause for Kyle and Pia for their introduction.
Thank you. Um, New York Riverrunners is celebrating 20 years of free youth running programs, and Colin P. are amazing examples of the positive benefits that running can have on young people on and off the track. Today, we celebrate all of our city agencies and community partners that we at New York Roadrunners collaborate with all year round to ensure that TCS New York City Marathon is a safe, fun, and world-class event for every runner, spectator, and volunteer who will be along the 26.2 mile course on Sunday. Today we'll hear from some of our partners that make the world's greatest marathon possible, and we want to thank all of you for being here today to help celebrate that. Someone who was very instrumental in taking this out to the five boroughs on the city streets, our chairman, George Hirsch. Thank you, Michael. So, next year we'll be celebrating the 50th anniversary of this great event. And when this group was introduced up here, I only saw two familiar faces from way back then. Eric and Bill Rudin were teenagers in those years, but it was their fathers, Lou and Jack, who were instrumental in making this event and the five borough event uh, the greatest day in the city. Uh, but before we begin to celebrate the big anniversary next year, we've got this Sunday another incredible race. Our outstanding Parks Commissioner Mitch Silver is going to be running it again. And and Michael Caparasso will be running it for his 28th consecutive time. And I, I've been following Michael's training, and I don't want to put any pressure on him, but I think he's ready to run his fastest marathon this coming Sunday. And to all the runners, I want to wish him well. To the police and all the city agencies, our thanks. Take care. No pressure. <laughs> um, thanks, George. Um, you know, it's because of the amazing people here in the room and everyone out there that really make sure that this race goes on and I'm able to have the opportunity to run it, including New York Roadrunners uh, staff who's here today. If you can give them a big round of applause, you'll see them in the blue jackets as well. <laughs> and now someone who really makes it possible for me to be able to run. Uh, I'm really thrilled to introduce, in his first year as the race director of the TCS New York City Marathon, the most amazing race director you can possibly imagine, a great person, Jim Hahn. Thank you so much, Michael. Again, a huge thank you to everyone standing with us today. My first year as race director, but my 13th marathon. So we do, we know what we're doing. Don't worry, we got this. It's an honor and a privilege to be here representing the work of so many people who come together to make this incredible event happen. It's, it takes a village to set up the village. On Sunday, more than 52,000 people from all around the world, more than 140 countries around the world, including Michael and, and Commissioner Silver, are gonna tow the start of the line in Staten Island. They're gonna transverse all five boroughs of New York City, its diverse neighborhoods, and with a million spectators out there cheering them on, and millions more watching from home around the world. We truly believe the TCS New York City Marathon on Sunday is New York City's best day, and none of it would be possible without the tremendous support and partnership of all of our agency partners and community partners. I'd now like to pass things over to Commissioner of the New York City Police Department, Commissioner James O'Neill. I think uh, Pia and Kyle really deserve another round of applause. I know when I was in eighth grade, they weren't getting me up here to do what uh, Kyle did, so just want to Thank everybody, especially the New York Roadrunners, uh, Mike, Jim, and George. Thank you for a partnership that uh, really helps us not only keep this race safe, uh, this race safe, which is a, really a challenge, but uh, for the partnership all year round. Uh, Bill and Eric Rudin, thanks for being uh, great friends to the New York City Police Department. And while the NYPD is, you know, most of the uniforms you're going to see out there are NYPD. There are thousands and thousands of police officers out there. Some in uniform, some are not, but we have such great partners. The, the Fire Department in New York is our, our number one partner, the Coast Guard, the Department of Transportation, the Port Authority, uh, New York State Department of Homeland Services, 
Parks Department, Mitch, uh, good luck running your second marathon in a row. The MTA, the TBTA, and uh, a great partner, not only this coming Sunday, but uh, every major event we have, and that's the uh, Department of Sanitation. So, like I said, while the NYPD might be the biggest agency out there, none of this is getting done without the cooperation and collaboration from all these other great people. I look forward to a great race, and I really look forward to a simulated line painting. Thank you very much. Everybody have a good morning. Thank you, Commissioner O'Neill. Please, next, please welcome First Deputy Commissioner of the New York City Fire Department, Laura Kavanaugh. Uh, thank you very much, and thank you again to everyone behind me who makes this happen. Uh, this truly is, I think, the best day of the year in New York City. There is just nothing like the marathon. It's extraordinary, and, and we at the fire department are so happy to be a part of it, to be able to make it a safe experience with the men and women of the New York City Fire Department. Um, you know, our agencies, as you know, sometimes have a rivalry in the actual race, but when it comes to planning and preparedness, we are all on the same team, so I'd like to thank my agency partners as well. Um, I normally also have a little friendly ribbing for the police commissioner at this point because our teams compete, um, but I'm running myself this year, so I'm gonna, say, I'm gonna save that till after the race. Um, hopefully I will be holding the trophy when I give you that ribbing, but I'll, I'll wait till uh, Sunday and then we'll see. So thank you, everyone. Thank you, First Deputy Commissioner Kavanaugh. Now representing the agency who will paint the blue line all the way to the Verrazano. Chief Operating Officer of New York City Department of Transportation, Margaret Forgione. Thank you. Good morning. It's so good to be here today for the blue line, paint, quote, painting ceremony. Each year, DOT crews proudly play a critical role in one of the city's most celebrated and time-honored traditions, the New York City Marathon. While the 50,000 plus participants are preparing their bodies for the big day, we at DOT are preparing the course to make sure it is safe for both spectators and participants. That work includes road maintenance of every square foot of street, including hourly and continuous overnight inspections before the actual event begins, transporting 26,000 runners on Sunday morning on the Staten Island Ferry, repairs of the Pulaski, Madison Avenue, Willis Avenue and Queensboro Bridges, sidewalk inspections and repairs, and the installation of advisory signs along the route. Beginning Friday night, some 50 gallons of marathon blue paint, which is not just any blue paint, it's marathon blue paint, will be used for the official four inch wide, 26.2 mile long line that will guide runners through 300 New York City intersections and five bridges. The work is performed by DOT's night painting team and will start along 4th Avenue in Brooklyn. We have some of those employees here today, and I want to thank you all in advance for the sleepless nights that are coming up. A special thank you also goes out to the men and women at DOT who make every marathon a safe one. This includes special events, roadway repair, Staten Island Ferry, bridges, highway inspection quality assurance, and emergency response. Without their dedication and attention to both the smallest and largest details, our runners and spectators could not be in better hands. Good luck to all of this year's runners, and I'll see you on Sunday. Thank you so much, Margaret. Very excited to introduce our next speaker today, as he'll be following the blue line all the way here on Sunday, running his second consecutive TCS New York City Marathon, Commissioner Mitchell Silver of New York City Parks Department. Well, first, that film just gives me chills. Quite exciting for a Sunday to come. Well, good morning and welcome to the beautiful Central Park. As New York City Parks Commissioner and as a runner, uh, it is my honor to be part of the Marathon Blue Line Painting Ceremony. New York City Marathon is a celebration of what's wonderful about our city, our vibrancy, our endurance, our diversity, and our parks and public spaces. As you heard last year, I ran a marathon for the first time and crossed this line alongside thousands of other runners. And I know from the experience that the time runners reach the final leg in Central Park they are both exhausted, exhilarated, and filled with a sense of urgency and purpose. Crossing this line is a life-changing achievement. And we at New York City Parks could not be prouder that Central Park serves as the finishing point of a 26.2-mile trek 
through the five boroughs. Runners in New York City benefit not only from world-class public spaces, but from world-class partners. And I want to thank New York Roadrunners, in particular Michael Caparasso, who's a supporter throughout the year, TCS, and all the other sponsors. Along with the thousands of people, including those at parks, sanitation, DOT, NYPD, and FDNY, and others who will work hard to make this amazing event possible every year. Good luck to those participating, and I'll see you all back at the finish line on Sunday. Thank you so much, Mr. Silver. Best of luck to you running Sunday. Commissioner Kavanaugh as well. Excellent. Now we'd please welcome New York City Sanitation Department's Director of Bureau of Cleaning and Collection, Ed Grayson. Thank you. Um, that is a lot of pressure, so I will be getting couch to 5K sent to the house. Uh, I didn't know that everybody was going to be a runner. Clearly, I'm not one. Um, but uh, on behalf of the Department of Sanitation and Commissioner Garcia, who couldn't join us today, uh, we would like to just uh, express our, uh, our extreme gratitude to be part of this great event uh, every year. Um, the partnership we have with New York Roadrunners and all of our partner agencies uh, continues to grow. It's an amazing event. The, the globe turns towards New York City once again. Um, in addition to cleaning the parade route ahead of time and being there to collect all the materials at the end, uh, we partner with PD, as Commissioner O'Neill said, on the security plan, and uh, we continue to expand our role with that. We're also very excited about the increased recycling opportunities that have come up over the years through our partnerships with Goodwill. We collect all the textiles at the start of the the uh, marathon route for all the discarded clothing. And we've, last year we collected over 110,000 pounds of recyclable material for a sustainable uh, solution. They didn't go to the landfill for everything that came out of this event. And we, uh, we look forward to that continued partnership. This is an amazing thing where uh, the entire world pivots towards New York City to watch what happens. And uh, we're excited about the marathon and being part of it. And it's just a great event. And again, um, maybe next year, I'll be running, I don't think so, but, but, but I'll be working on it. Thank you very much. Thank you, Ed. Maybe I'll be with you next year. <laughs> uh, just to point out, uh, Ed talked about um, sustainability. We're very proud of our sustainability efforts. Through our partnership with Goodwill, it began in 2012. We're gonna hit, we're gonna surpass one million pounds of clothing donated with this year's marathon. It's pretty amazing. So thank you, Ed. Next, please welcome our co-host for today, Central Park Conservancy President and CEO, Elizabeth Smith. Good morning, everyone. Um, on behalf of the Central Park Conservancy, um, who all of you know are the ones who maintain and manage and steward Central Park, uh, we are just delighted to partner with the city on, I have always felt, one of the great days in New York City. Um, it is uh, really on behalf of all of the staff at the Conservancy um, to thank them, first and foremost, for all their work uh, all year round, 365 days a year, taking care of Central Park, and in particular on this weekend, making sure the parade route is, the uh, marathon route is, is safe and beautiful. Um, so thank you to them, and thank you for all of the support that the agencies give the Conservancy uh, throughout the year. So thank you. Thank you, Elizabeth. Next, please, please welcome MTA's New York City Transit President, Andy Byford. Okay, good, uh, good morning, everyone, and greetings from everyone at the Metropolitan Transportation Authority. Uh, as you heard from Commissioner Silver earlier on, uh, the uh, Parks Department's very proud to host the finish here at this wonderful Central Park. Well, we at the MTA are equally proud to host the start of this, the most iconic of marathons anywhere in the world. We will host it at the equally iconic Verrazano Narrows Bridge. And I'd like to do a big shout out to my uh, colleagues at MTA Bridges and Tunnels, who once again will be prepared and ready uh, to launch this fabulous race uh, in, uh, in truly glamorous style. 
Uh, at the end of the day, uh, our subways and buses are the best way to get around if you're a participant on your way to the uh, race, uh, but also if you're one of the many uh, uh, viewers, the millions of viewers, people going out to watch the race, go to one of, one of the many parties along the race, buses and subways are the way to go. And we're setting up a special subway marathon map so that you can see real time any diversions that we have to make and the quickest way to get around town. So I'd just like to say on behalf of uh, the MTA, um, all the very best to all of the runners. I am a runner myself. I've run a few half marathons. I've never actually run a marathon yet, uh, but you never know, there's always time. So good luck, everyone. Uh, we're really uh, proud to be playing our part, uh, just like my colleagues who, from whom you've heard already. We're ready to go. Good luck out there, everyone. Get your personal best. Uh, we'll be ready and, wait and, and willing and able to get you around and about this wonderful and fabulous city of New York. Good luck. Thank you. So Andy knows that I've asked him to come and run our 50th anniversary next year, so he was kind of prepping for that. So we hope to see you next year at the starting line for our 50th. So I just want to thank everyone. I say this to our, our team all the time. This is a, an amazing day. I do think it's the best day in New York City by far. Um, people may be coming to New York City just this one time to run the TCS New York City Marathon. You may see them on the street. You may help them with some directions. You may congratulate them at the finish line. Make it the best experience they can possibly have because you'll leave quite an impression on them. This is a lifetime memory for most people that come in here to, to be a part of this. Thank you for helping us make lifetime memories for everyone as part of the TCS New York City Marathon. So I want to, on behalf of all New York Railroads, I want to thank everyone for being here today and we're going to paint the blue line right now. So thank you. All right, this is how this is gonna work. The first ever simulation of the simulated blue line painting. And no paint. Uh, we gotta use this uh, pavilion the rest of the week. Uh, the way it'll work is we'll hold still when everyone gets set and we'll take some photos so everyone gets don't roll yet, we don't want to paint yet, pretend. Uh, we'll take the picture. And then we'll uh, count to three and we'll simulate the actual simulation. I'm gonna wear this joke out. Some people going with the two hand technique, some going just one, very interesting. Keep your eye Great. on Bethany. Yep. Daniel, can you move forward just ever so slightly so we can see you a little bit? Thank you. Right here in the center. Okay. And then down the line to this way. To your left. To your left. Sorry. Look to your left. Okay. And then. And look, look to, to your right. right. All right. Now here we go. The moment we've all been waiting for. At the count of three. Start simulating painting. And look up right now. Not, not yet. You don't want to paint it too early. Three, two, one, simulate. There you go. It's like one of those floor cleaners. All right. Fantastic. Everyone, thank you very much. Everyone stay in place. We're going to keep our professional athletes, our defending champions up here. We're going to take a photo with our four defending champions. So we ask the defending champions to stay by. Everyone else, thank you very much for uh, your excellent uh, form in uh, painting. We may call on you later this week for the actual blue line painting. Please, uh, Back on mic. The two things I'm going to stop.
Where is it? Rihanna. Where is it? Where is it? I don't want to do it over there. I know, I know. He's over there, though. He's on the side. He doesn't come out yet. Oh, can you? I don't know. No, I'm going to try to catch it. Yeah, yeah, no, no. 